appreciate your presence always on the power circuit. The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, continues to bring you this program to always inform you about key steps and actions in the Nigerian electricity supply industry, NESI. Come along with Amara Agugesi as we take you through this edition. New Permanent Secretary in the Federal Ministry of Power pledges to operate transparent, accountable administration. And back to the headquarters of TCN in Abuja, the company has unveiled the first aid center. The complete implementation of an ongoing TCN World Bank supervisory control and data acquisition project is bound to enhance grid stability and promote efficient electricity supply. Let's get the details of this process from the principal manager, World Bank Project Management Unit of TCN, Engineer Tumbara Egeku in the interview segment. The newly assigned permanent secretary to the Federal Ministry of Power, Al Haji Mahmouda Maman, says he will operate a transparent and accountable administration. He started this when he assumed office at the ministry's headquarters in Metama, Abuja. Mahmouda, who was deployed from the Federal Ministry of Works, Housing and Urban Development, took over from Mr. Temitukwe Fashedemi, who was reassigned to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. I thank all of you for coming to support us in this our responsibility and I promise that I mean, we are going to run a transparent, accountable government that is inclusive uh, for all of us. Uh, he knows and we know ourselves, like I said, I mean, uh, our doors are always open for criticisms, for suggestions, for innovative ideas to ensure that, yes, we achieve the purpose and mandate of why we are here. Of course, there's a peculiar task because, I mean, this is also one of the key infrastructure ministry of the federal government. Mr. Maman, while stating the sources of a collective responsibility, expressed his commitment and readiness to work with the staff of the ministry. Success is a collective responsibility and we all have to strive together to ensure that we all succeed because if one of us fails, the failure is also collective. Therefore, we should ensure that we work together collectively and support each and one of us to make sure that all of us achieve the mandate of the ministry. As a ministry, we have the responsibility to ensure that we I mean, drive the necessary policies to ensure that each and every Nigerian have access to electricity wherever it is. So, we know the problems of the three segments, of the three sectors, or rather, the, uh, from the, the, yes, in the value chain, from the generation, the transmission, to the distribution aspect of it. Therefore, we must try all of us to ensure that, yes, we achieve this purpose and mandate, to ensure that, yes, at least, Within this period of time, we were able to improve on the generation, the transmission, and even the distribution segment of it. And I thank you all for coming, and I hope that, I mean, uh, we are going to witness much more milestone. The outgoing permanent secretary, Mr. Temitukbe Fashedemi, thanked the management and staff of the ministry for the cordial and harmonious working relationship he enjoyed while piloting the affairs of the Federal Ministry of Power. So, and we thank His Excellency President Bola Etunu, who has appointed all of us to do the work, the necessary work. First, the mandate of the various ministries, but more importantly, the eight priority areas of his administration, which is geared towards impacting economic growth, removing people from poverty, job creation, you know, and also things that will impact the lives of our citizens. That is the critical reason why we are all being posted to various places to help achieve that mandate by supporting the ministers that he has also put in all those uh, various ministries to be his eyes and hands to drive his policies for the benefits of our citizens. Fashidemi also exhorted the workers in the ministry on commitment to service. There are many others who also have multiple degrees, but who are not sitting where you are. So I told you then that we must count that as the reason why we must give our best for being in those states so that we can deliver. 
and I'm thankful that you did not disappoint. Uh, we have worked as a family, and we have recorded maps of the metal, of the KPIs of metal masters. So I appreciate you all for that. Thank you for the support. Shortly after the remarks, both the incoming permanent secretary and the outgoing permanent secretary had a formal signing and presentation of handover notes. Let's go on a break. More reports coming your way shortly. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, transmits bulk electricity from power generating companies, GENCOs, to distribution load centers of distribution companies, DISCOs, nationwide. At TCN, we transport bulk electricity at very high voltage to discos, who now off-take it and distributes it directly to electricity customers nationwide. TCN does not generate electricity. We transport the quantum of power generated to distribution load centers. TCN does not distribute electricity directly to electricity consumers. Our job stops where that of the discos begin. TCN consists of two distinct business units. The transmission service provider, TSP, and Independent System Operation, ISO. ISO comprises System Operation, SO, and Market Operation, MO. Each business unit performs specialized functions under the TCN umbrella. TCN, transmitting bulk electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. Prioritizing the health of workers is top of the agenda for the management of the transmission company of Nigeria TCN. Recently, we took you round the fully equipped TCN Medical Center. Not stopping at this, the management has unveiled the first aid center at the corporate headquarters to immediately cater to health issues before further consultations. Let's bring you the reports. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, Engineer Dr. Suli Ahmed Ablaziz, who was represented at the unveiling ceremony by the Acting Executive Director, Independent System Operation Arm of TCN and Market Operator, Engineer Edmond Eje, was excited about the feat. Health is a wealth in any way. When you say you want to scale the staff, Skilled staff can only be found in healthy staff, isn't it? Yes. And therefore, I am happy at this occasion. The TCN head further commended the leadership of the TCN healthcare team for taking the initiatives. That's to say, the step the general manager medical has taken is an eloquent step that uh, needs a commendation. And uh, we will also be happier if we will be able to have Transmission Company of Nigeria Hospital, mm -hmm. yes. it is not a big deal. Yes. It is not a big deal in the first place. 
it should be given priority that we have. I tell you, I am one of those who somehow benefited from a TCN hospital. He further stated the importance of first aid center at TCN. We require a facility like this that not only giving you medication but taking care of your vitals as a signal so that you know whether you are living or not. If you constantly check your vitals or wherever you walk, at least from time to time they check the vitals, you'll be able to check the trend of what is happening in you and it will go a long way keeping you alive. So to God be the glory that today it is happening here. And I commend everybody who is here. Here we can learn one thing or the other that is also good to check your vitals every time. The TCN leadership believes that the center will be extended across the 10 regional headquarters of the company so that all the employees will be catered for. To the glory of God, we open this uh, TCN first aid room. We pray that uh, it will all end in test and getting your vital that at the end of the day, everybody who comes here will find solution. Amen. We pray that this is a first step towards realizing our uh, hospital institution in this particular area. At the end of the day, we will have a, a general hospital for TCN in Abuja. Amen. In the regional areas, we should also have because uh, health is wealth. The TCN team then inspected the facility towards having first hand assessment of its operations. The General Manager, Medical Services at TCN, Dr. Agatha Edet Ademilui, showcased the various equipment on ground. This is called a defibrillator. A defibrillator. Because before the heart stops, it works in a very irregular manner. So when the heart stops, we use this, it applies a kind of electric shock to bring the, that heart back to beating. Also in her remarks, the Acting Executive Director, Human Resources and Corporate Services at TCN, Mrs. Abiodun Afolabi, lauded the initiatives reiterating the commitment of the management to sustaining the welfare activities in the company. I want to thank each and every one of you for making time to come here despite your tight schedule. The GM Medical Services has been very passionate about the opening of this TCN first aid room. She talks about it every month. So the problem had been where, where, where and where the space. But she didn't relent in her efforts. She came here and said, if under the step is okay for her. You're right on to the interview segment of the Power Circuit. And we have with us the Principal Manager, World Bank Project Management Unit of TCN, Engineer Tombara Egeku. The official also coordinates the ongoing implementation of the TCN World Bank Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Project. She speaks on this innovative system that the company is deploying for the national electricity grid. SCADA has been a common name in the power sector. Please, what is it about? SCADA actually is an acronym and it means Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. So the SCADA system is like a computer that you feed in with information that tells you know how a system should react if something happens. Now, I like to break you know the electricity system like this. Electricity cannot be stored. So whatever you produce, you have to ensure that it is used up. 
So the production of electricity is actually the supply side. And then the use of electricity is the load or the demand side. Now you have to ensure that because electricity cannot be stored, whatever you generate is used up. And then it's like a seesaw. If I generate 500 megawatts, 500 megawatts has to be used. So it's like, just imagine like an equilibrium where you have two weights. Now, if I generate 500 megawatts and 500 megawatts is being used, there's a balance. But imagine that I generate 500 megawatts and only 400 is used, there'll be an imbalance. Imagine a higher weight with a lower weight, like a seesaw thing. And once there's an imbalance, there's instability in the network. What does your SCADA do? It ensures that there is continuous balance in the network. So there are intelligent devices that gives information to the SCADA system. But you would have pre programmed the SCADA system to know that, look, once there's an imbalance in supply and demand, do something about it. So, you know, like I said, SCADA is supervisory control and data acquisition. So you're acquiring information from the field and then you're supervising with the information you have acquired. So you would have told the system, look, if you notice that there's an imbalance, you need to react to the imbalance. And the first thing that happens is, before it gets to the point where there's a problem, you start to get alarms, problem, problem, you understand? There's a problem coming. Before it gets to that point where there should be a reaction. So the system operator, who is at the National Control Center, sees it and says, oh, I'm getting this information that there's a potential problem. And he's getting enough information to take a reaction. Remember what I said? If you're sitting down and suddenly you feel pain, you either know that you have to do something about the pain, maybe take paracetamol, take, and you know that because over time, that's what you've been told. So all this information is programmed in the SCADA system so that there is a reaction anytime there's a system imbalance. What is the role of the World Bank in the ongoing deployment of SCADA? Between 2012 and 20, 2014, NIAF, um, you know, it's, a, it's an agency under the DFID, British um, um, system, did a needs assessment on TCN, SCADA, and telecommunications infrastructure and found out that there was a lot of deficits. Because the last time, you know, a SCADA project of this magnitude was carried out was in 2004. And ever since then, um, there has been no project to totally overhaul you know, what we have in terms of infrastructure. So in 2021, um, a consultant was awarded the contract to supervise the SCADA project. And the contractors, the consultant's name is Ceci, Ceci Spa of Italy. Then in 2022, we started the process of the engagement of the SCADA contractor proper. And the contract was awarded in August 2022. The project is currently running. Um, we are in the design phase. Most of the equipment have been manufactured. Some of the equipment, the first batch of the equipment have actually been delivered to the ports and we are expecting subsequent equipment as well. Are there plans to train system operators in the utilization of the SCADA? So training was an integral part of the SCADA project under the World Bank. And currently, we have trained more than 100 engineers on the operation and maintenance of the equipment. This is to ensure that after the installation of the equipment, that staff will be equipped to operate, but just not, not just to operate, but also to maintain the equipment when they, are, you know, they have um, issues as well. So training has been done in China because the contractor for the project is actually a Chinese con contractor, NR Electric of China. So training has been done for more than 100 engineers in China on the various equipments that will be supplied for the project. What should Nigerians expect upon the implementation of this SCADA? Electricity cannot be stored and so whatever is generated has to be consumed. 
and any time whatever is generated is not consumed, I mean the total um, megawatts generated, there's an imbalance in the system. So what this SCADA system does is give the system operator who is responsible for managing the network enough information to take informed decision that will ensure that there's balance in the system at all times. And when there's balance and there's stability, that system is reliable. It means that we'll continuously have um, a flow of power supply in the network. So in that sense, you know, SCADA ensures that, you know, we have a balance in the system and has, you know, reliability of the network, have all the equipment, you know, working. And in terms of maintenance, like I said, the SCADA system provides visibility. So if there's a problem anywhere in the network with the SCADA system, an alarm will go off. And so the, the system operator is able to see, oh, there's a line with an issue. There's a transmission line with an issue and it needs to be attended. And he will call the attention of the maintenance people in that region that, look, there's a problem with your line in so-so place. You need to go and attend to it be be before it becomes a potential problem in establishing system balance and system stability. Health is truly wealth, and the management of TCN does not take the same lightly. In closing this edition, we told you that the new permanent secretary in the Federal Ministry of Power pledges to operate transparent, accountable administration. And right at the headquarters of TCN in Abuja, you watched the unveiling of a first aid center for utilization by the members of staff. In the interview segment, engineer Tumbara Egeku who is coordinating the ongoing implementation of the TCN World Bank SCADA project, explained how the project upon completion will enhance grid stability and efficient electricity supply. TCN is glad to have you support its campaign against vandalism and encroachment of the right of way of power transmission installations. Keep playing your role while you get more information about the sole power transmission utility firm in Nigeria as you subscribe to the TCN YouTube channel, TCN underscore Nigeria. We implore you to support TCN on Facebook as you like the page, Transmission Company of Nigeria. You can also follow TCN on X, formerly Twitter, via at TCN underscore Nigeria. Experience TCN and its activities on Instagram as you click TCN underscore Nigeria. The company is prompt in responding to emails, so please take advantage of this via affairs.public at tcn.org.ng. You can also learn more about the company's activities on the interactive website www.tcn.org.ng. There is also www.tcnnews.ng where you get more varieties of reports about TCN. The Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN appreciates your support as you join in the surveillance and strategic actions against vandals of power transmission assets. I hope to see you with more informative reports. Amara Agogwesi saying bye.